Okay, hopefully this starts. We've done two turns back on the idle, two turns back on the throttle. I uh, did a temporary pin job. Well, my choke is currently seized, so I have to manually control that. And my throttle, um, yeah, really gotta adjust that once it's running. Um, uh, figure out my spring for my governor. So I'm gonna just go ahead and turn on the fuel. And I'm gonna give it, yeah, my throttle needs adjustment. It's all or nothing. I just messed it up. So, partial, okay, got fired. I checked for spark. So, manual choke. Oh, Yeah, I need a new amp. Oh, I need to check my charging system. Alright, now I gotta go through everything and check for leaks, check for oil leaks, check for fuel leaks, check for wiring rubbing on things that they shouldn't, and then uh, start buttoning her up. Uh, the transmission's currently getting cleaned, and the uh, wheels are getting cleaned. So I think what happened on this is it used to have a high-low, and the high-low is currently going on that tractor. But the transmission came in a tote, and I got the wheels, and they were all dirty. I started pressure washing, and there was grease all over the insides of both of them. So what I think happened is the wheel seal started to leak, and then the uh, they just ran it out of oil and blew up the internals of the transmission. Um, is I, I'm taking an oven cleaner to the wheels right now and trying to get all the grease off of it. So, uh, hopefully this weekend I can be uh, running and driving it. Alright, we got the 1776 running and driving. I was able to clean the garage somewhat. A little quick update on everything. Uh, I need screws to mount the seat to the uh, hinge. Uh, need new tires. I'm gonna put new. I'm gonna put the dual dual wheel adapter kit on this. Um, I'm gonna get correct front wheels. I'm gonna powder coat the wheels to match the seat. And I'm gonna keep these wheels to the side to keep them original. And I still got small odds and ends to do on this one. This one is my um, demonstrator build. It's got the high low transmission, uh, hydraulic lift, rear lift. Front work light, rear work light, headlights, 
Uh, I got a front mount wheel mower for it. Uh, I'd like to find a Gannon earth curator for this. Uh, this is the serial number six T800. And this one, I have ordered bearings and everything, bearings and seals, and this is going to be a uh, video all by itself on uh, rebuilding a high-low transmission, or a planetary system. Uh, this is the 1776. Um, I'll get back to that one in one second. And there's the 1965. Uh, low band um, transmission is currently getting rebuilt. I got the correct headlight panel for it. Um, I got some sheet metal work to do on it. It needs a steering wheel, and this one's gonna, you know, come along pretty quick. Um, I'm debating on restoring that one first or that one. So back to this. Uh, I'm gonna pull this out uh, because of the coronavirus. My parts are um, somewhat delayed. Uh, parts that I need for this currently is I need a throttle cable and a choke cable. Um, choke is completely frozen and throttle is not working like it's supposed to. Um, I got to put the points cover back on that's sitting right there in the gasket. Uh, I am missing the shield that goes over this, and I didn't realize this, but the 8 horsepower and 10 horsepower shields are different, so I need a 10 horsepower shield. Uh, I need a seat for it. I'm going to order a seat pretty soon. Uh, and then I got the correct headlight switch. I am going to put a lighter in it. Um, only thing that I painted on this tractor was the transmission and because uh, this is a transmission that came out of the molding and uh, I put new grease circs on it and I put a wheel seal on the uh, left side um, because the transmission for that uh, molding I got one that's really nice but it's getting it's getting done up nice because that's going to be a full restoration tractor um it's a pretty pretty solid tractor um it's got a couple of things i gotta work out like most tractors uh i gotta get a battery for it i gotta get a battery for all my tractors honestly uh but we'll um we'll get it out in a little bit and get it running and driving and conclude this uh this stage of this project uh, I think my next video or two, I'm going to be uh, working on this Onan. It came out of a 78 Sears. Uh, it's a B B48M. Um, I had it running. Uh, it's got a really good compression. I'm going to go over compression checks. I'm going to refresh the tins. I'm going to put uh, new plugs, new wire, new carb kit new you know make it make it really nice and throw it on the shelf um eventually i'd like to get a massey ferguson 1855 with three point um that's a nice tractor but yeah i'm gonna do a couple of videos on onan and then uh figure out what my next project is i got two fords coming from uh oregon and uh, they got hydraulic lifts so i'm gonna take the hydraulic lifts and put them on tractors and uh throttle cables and and stuff so uh yeah so let's uh let's get this pulled out and get it driving i don't have a battery so that's why she's running at a high high speed to maintain the uh charge
Not bad for being 55 years old.